Okay, so we are now at at joint D, okay? And so this one gets a little bit more complicated, but hang with me. And you'll notice once again that I have the force, all the things that are going in the Y direction in red and all the things that are going in the X in green. And I color code this, so I think it helps because the we don't always see all that stuff so first thing i got to do is copy some of these knowns that i already know so if i go back to joint a um, i know some of this stuff already i know that this one is 975 this one is 975 this guy here um what was it uh 13 78 point eight six so i i kind of know those things the other big thing that i want to make sure is that I knew, remember over here, that this was going down and to the left at joint A, which means it's gotta be opposite of that, so it's going up and to the right at D, and that's very critical that we I've already marked that. So coming in here at D, I know right away the sense of line segment AD at joint D is up and to the right. Let me, let me do that in this color. So I know that guy is going this way, okay, which means that this one, ADY, has to be going up here, and ADX has to be going to the right here. Now, that is, in fact, not the same as A, but we're, that's why this is called method of joints, because we're looking at this free body diagram here, just joint A, okay? So now let's look at this. When I look at these things remember we're using our pretty much some of the moments some of the force of the x and some of the forces in the y to solve these i look at this guy i have three things in the y okay here here and here i have three things in the x here here and here i know two of the things in the y i can solve for the third one super easy sum of the forces in the y have to equal zero what goes up let's come down so when i look at this i've got 975 and this guy's going up i've got force at d is going down at a thousand all right so now this is where i look at i've got bdy okay i'm going to just pencil it in right down here it's got to get on this teeter-totter Right? Remember, the fulcrum is here. It's got to pick the downside or the upside. These things I need to be even, Steven. It's got to get on one side or the other side. Where is BDY going to go? Well, it's got to go over here, right, to, to balance it out because this is less than that. Well, what's the magnitude? 975 minus 1,000 tells me what BDY is. So BD and the Y is pretty simple. It's just 25, right? So that one's pretty easy to solve. Now, I still look at this and I go, okay, well, I've got three things going left, right, but I only know one of them. Well, I can fix that because I can use trigonometry now to solve for BDX. I always use this angle right here. As we said, I try to always use tangent. Now, I got that angle from earlier when we broke down the angles, and I know that this guy is going to be 33.69 because this angle here is 33.69. So I can look at this, and now I can use my tangent of theta, 33.69, and I want to solve for the opposite, okay? Well, what is tangent? Tangent is opposite over adjacent. So if I write that out, I'm going to say it's equal to BD, got a little dyslexic there, over 25. Okay. So if I put that in my calculator, I'm going to multiply this number by the 25. Once again, I like to cheat and use my triangle. I've got BD and the X up top, tangent of 33.69 there and the 25 there. Well, to get that, I need to multiply these two numbers together. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna say tangent of 33.69 multiplied by 25 gets me 
16.67, let's call it. So I'm going to go 16.67, okay? So now I've solved for that. Now, the next thing that I need to look at is I need to do a, another T-chart. Oh, we had to look here. Let's go back. I did not do what I said to do, which was to keep up with my arrows. Which way was BDY going, right? It has to be going up. We need to, we need to mark that. So that guy's got to be going up. That guy's going up. We know BD has to be going up and to the left, which means BDX is going to the left. And this one is going up and to the left like so. So you got to keep up with your arrows. That's the one tricky part about this method. Okay. So now I know that I can make my sum of the forces in the X equals zero, and I can go left, right. 975 is going to the right. 16.67 is going to the left. Once again, I have line segment DE hanging out up here. And notice that when I draw these, I kind of do them all on a different level. That way I can really make sure that I understand there's three things going in, in the X here. And when I look at that, I have, I'm going to come down here once again, and I'm going to say I've got DE, right? I'm going to park it down there, and it's got to get on the teeter-totter and, and even this thing out. Well, which side's it got to go to? Well, I've got big 975 over here and little bitty 16.7, so DE's got to come over here, right? Okay, which means it's going to the left. So I can go ahead take my arrow, go to that, and I can say 975 minus 16.67, and I get the value of that, which is 958.33. Last thing I've got here on joint on joint D is I need to solve for BD. Not too bad. I just need to use the old Pythagorean theorem here. And so I'm going to use BD X and BD Y. So in my calculator, I would type in square root 16.67 squared plus 25 squared equals, and that would be BD. So let me do that clear square root button. Go 16.67 plus 25, enter, and I get 30.0, we'll round up to 5, and call that good. Now, the last thing I would want to do here is come back to my overall chart. I could fill in this number, 30.05. I knew that this one was going up. And there, that means this one's going down. And I have this number here, 958.33. That one's going that way, which means that one's going that way. Okay. So when I look at this and I say, when I see those arrows pushing out, right, those arrows pushing out, think about Luke, Luke and Leia and Han when they're in the trash compactor, the trash compactor squeezing in. What are they doing? They're pushing out. That's remember the internal force is the reaction. So this thing is being squeezed, which means it's in compression because the internal forces are going out there and in compression. So same thing on this guy here. They're being squeezed. Therefore, we know this is compression. They're pushing out. All right. That is joint D.